Hello, my amigos, Rich and Amigo here, and welcome back to Crush Team Racing! In the last episode, we beat a few tracks. About three. <laughs> and in this episode, I'm gonna show a little bit of the hub world, and Aku Aku's gonna talk um, a couple of times, so yeah. To access this boss garage, you must come in first place in all four races of this area. That was a weird angle. <laughs> um, now I'm trying to find out how, re how to reverse. I forgot to mention a few controls, by the way, and so, um, someone commented, I'll, uh, I'll talk about this in a minute, because obviously Aku is going to be interrupting me. You must have two boss keys to open this door. You can race a boss after beating all four tracks in an area. Beat the boss in a boss race, and a key is your prize. Okay, that's pretty simple. No. Um, yeah, this is the last time he's going to be speaking to us. This is the load save screen. There are five of these screens, one in each world section. When you want to load or save a game, go to one of these screens. To access it, drive up to the screen and stop. Then, follow the directions. Okay, simple enough. And, um, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to actually do what I was going to do anyway, okay. Um, I forgot to mention a few of the controls in the last part. I don't remember them all. I mean, I ha I want to say that I have, like, from... From... Uh, by the way, we're playing this fake crash in this level. Um, after Ripperoo, I've never played any level after. I've never actually beaten this game. I've only beaten Ripperoo. When I was younger, I always played Crash Nitro Car. So, yeah. Um... Okay, yeah, so some of the stuff I forgot to mention. Um, when um, you press the triangle button, I said that that changes the camera view. Well, to change the camera view so you can see behind you, you actually press the R2 button. The triangle button changes um, the thing in the bottom right so you can see the speed meter, and if you press it again, it goes back to the map, obviously. Also, while the um, Relite is going um, down when you get an item, um, you can press the circle button um, while it's going down, and um, it will come up quicker. The reason I don't do it is because um, I usually get shitty items whenever I press the circle button. <laughs> so I usually wait and I usually get decent ones. It, I, don't, I don't know whether it's just my luck or it's actually a part of the game. I don't know and whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yeah, this level has quite a few alternate routes. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and I love that laugh so much. So good. Oh yeah, in case you haven't noticed, this is actually uh, the sewer level um, from Crash Bandicoot 2, obviously in racetrack form. And I really like this level, because obviously I really liked it in Crash 2, so I love it here too. <laughs> um, also, um, other controls I forgot to mention, the L2 button um, toggles the view, so it zooms out a little bit, and then press it again, it zooms back in. Um, and... Um, Sorry, I've got like a manual up on the internet, I'm just seeing if there's anything I missed, because I don't want to miss anything, because I don't want to mention like in a later part, more controls. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. Oh no, the L1 and the R1 button, if you press them without doing the drift thing, obviously it'll still do it while doing the drift, but yeah, whatever. Um, if you press the L1 or the R1 button, Crash should do, or whatever character you're playing as, to do a little hop, which is all swell, and you know, it's all fun just bouncing around. If you bounce off a high ramp, and um, you, la you land from like a high enough distance, you can do a little boost, which is really cool. <laughs> so yeah. Um, uh, something that I was going to say actually, okay, I'll say that in a minute, because we're almost at the end of this track. Um, I, I also, uh, I want to mention that I'm going to be editing in um, Ripperoo's original voice, because he was originally going to have a voice in this game. But um, they changed the plan, and he just has a laugh with text at the bottom. So I'm going to be editing in both versions for before and after the race. So yeah, if you're wondering what that is, the what that's all about, then you know I just told you, so you will know now. <laughs> so yeah, big boo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and yeah, Crash still has his happy, happy, joy, joy dance. <laughs> I love the happy, happy, joy, 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 joy dance. <laughs>
it, the voice that they was going to use was actually pretty good, and I think it would have worked pretty well. The only problem is it sounds like Elmo. I think it's Elmo. That red, the red fluffy guy. I can't remember where it's from, actually. Damn it. <laughs> I'll type it in. But yeah, this is the boss fight, and uh, Ripperoo, he throws, um, he puts, chucks loads of TNTs at you. Sesame Street, that's what Elmo's from. How did I not know that? The Muppets, whatever. Yeah, something. <laughs> How did I not know that? <laughs> I did, I just forgot. <laughs> anyway, Ripperoo throws um, loads and loads of TNT crates at you, and they can bounce on top of your head, and this can happen. Yeah, not fun. And that's... No good. <laughs> See, Ripperoo found it funny. <laughs> and yeah, the, um, this boss fight is fairly easy. Stop laughing. <laughs> I'm trying to commentate here, Ripperoo. I mean, I loved your laugh and all, but I'm trying to commentate. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I also want to mention that um, that uh, this um, LP. I had a lot of help from um, one of my um, really good friends. Um, his name is Toast Doctor, T O A S T D R, and um, he helped me a lot with this let's play. He told me how you unlock certain characters and what certain things do. So yeah, I just want to say thanks to him, and I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description because this this LP like I wouldn't know how to do it if it wasn't for him. So yeah. <laughs> I just dropped my mouse and stop laughing, Ripper. It's not funny. <laughs> Even though your laugh is so ins insanely awesome. <laughs> yeah, this boss ain't too bad. And I, I really like Ripper. Ripper is bloody amazing. <laughs> oh, I just realised I was going to say something about Ripper, and it's right near the end of the episode. For fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I'll quickly say now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> in the CTR epilogue. Um, it says that Ripperoo has been elected state governor, much to everyone's surprise, <laughs> um, with the slogan, Crazy is, is it, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Crazy is as crazy does. And rumour says he's also running for president. Okay. <laughs> Totally not ripped out of Zelda. I cannot see how that jingle sounds anything like da na na na. <laughs> Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. So yeah, we just beat all four races, beat the boss, and we got a key. We're gonna save the game. Um, yeah. So Ripper is running for president. Good luck, Ripperoo. <laughs> yeah, I'll vote for you. <laughs> I mean, we've got from Crash 3, you've got Mayor Cortex, and now we're going to have um, Ripperoo as president. Yeah. The line of Crash Bandicoot is pretty crazy. <laughs> crazy. Collect every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you can get them all, you will win a prize. So. We're gonna do this bonus mission for the bl um, purple um, crash team racing token. Basically, all you have to do is memorize all these crystals. Gotta get them all. Um, totally not a reference to Pokemon. And um, yeah, just basically get all the crystals that you can see. Try and get them in a set amount of time on the top left um, of the screen. And you know, just, just, just try and do your best. Cause yeah, this level's pretty hard. It's not so difficult that it's difficult. <laughs> it, all, the other, all the other um, uh, crystal collecting levels are a lot harder. And this is just like to start out. I just realised one of the um, controls that I missed. If you hold down the square button you can do this like um, slide. Like um... Uh, you, it, there. Yeah, if you hold down the square button it's like a break. And you can just slide along the floor. It's really handy, and it helps you um, perform, like, go around sharp turns. It, it's pretty handy, and I like it. 
But the only problem is, I don't think you can boost while using it. But, you know, it doesn't matter too much. Ow, my face! <laughs> but there we go, we just got all 20 tokens. Uh, no, 20 crystals. I wish it was 20 tokens. <laughs> and there we go, saving the game again. I, I'm, I'm trying to edit out some bits of the hub world. I don't edit all of it, obviously. <laughs> now, um... No, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> we're going to be heading to the next world of the game. Uh, this world is called Gemstone Valley. I totally um, knew that. I didn't have to read the bottom of the screen to find that out. <laughs> uh, apparently we need five gems and ten relics there. Keep that in mind, guys. Write that down on your pen and paper. <laughs> and, uh, oh, there's the little thing where everybody has the... Like the winning victory animations. <laughs> winning victory. Sure, they mean the same thing, but okay. Uh, I, I'm kind of an idiot here. I start driving down here and think, oh no, this is the wrong way. It's probably somewhere else. So I turn around and I go somewhere else now. <laughs> and by the way, that is the place that you're supposed to go to. <laughs> but remember, I barely ever played this game. <laughs> so I wouldn't know that. <laughs> oh, what's this? You don't have the four boss keys to open this door. Beat each boss to get a key, and when you have all four keys, come back here to race Oxide. You need a key. <laughs> so yeah, you need four keys to race Oxide. Obviously I'm cutting ahead over to here because I don't really think it's necessary to show you guys the location or somewhere I've already been to. But yeah, we're heading to the Lost Ruins, and this place is pretty cool. It's a ruin that apparently was lost, but now that we got the key, we can find it, so... That's pretty handy dandy. Now we're going to be heading to Coco Park. I wonder what character we'll be playing as here. You know? Coco! <laughs> yeah, Coco's a pretty awesome character. Um, uh, yeah, Coco's a pretty awesome character to play as. She's not my favourite. She's one of the more, um, I play as her every now and then type of character. Now, um, I have some characters that I absolutely hate and I don't want to play as. One of them just came on screen, I'm going to talk about him later. But I know people like that character to play as. I like him as a character, I just don't like playing as him. Because when it comes to racing games, you'll have your own personal preferences of what type of driver you want to be. You want to be the really fast one, or the one who's good at sharp turns, or the one who's an all-arounder. It depends like how good you are at the game and what you prefer and all that. I personally prefer to be good at turning if I'm playing a drifting type game, because otherwise I'll be forever whacking my face into walls. And you, you guys know that I don't like getting my face whacked into walls. <laughs> I don't think anybody does. Unless you do. Post comment below if you do. <laughs> but yeah, this is Coco Park. Coco Park is a nice little place. It has really good music. It's my favourite track in the game, actually. Right. Um, Obviously, I did that track because you know this is a racing track. Yeah, yeah, yeah so bad. <laughs> but yeah, this place is really good. I like this place. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, Coco Park's a pretty cool place. Um, <laughs> as you can probably see, I'm saving my missile because I, because I played this a couple times before. Because this is arcade mode. Um, I'm playing whenever I play it on arcade mode. I play it on the hardest difficulty. So. Whenever you're seeing like an, another character being played, I'm playing it on the hardest difficulty. And then when you're seeing Crash playing a level, then you're seeing it on Adventure Mode. And yeah, I got my ass kicked about three times, no, more than three times, like ten times. Just because like some guy, especially Engine, kept driving in front of me and I had no items, so I just thought I'd save a missile right till the end. Because you know, I'm not going through that shit again. <laughs> but yeah, back in this screen. Peekaboo. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, apparently Coco came second, but I'm pretty sure she came first. <laughs> -la 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 -la. <laughs> Congratulations, you win a trophy. You can go faster through turns by power sliding. To access the power slide, press and hold the R1 button while turning hard. You can go fast, 
You can go faster. Oh, big data server. <laughs> See you later, guys.